Meme review. Meme review. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. Yes, my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to do another episode of episodes. I'm going to do another episode of Memes with Tenor. The Memes with Tenor. But today's page that I've chosen is an Australian page. I know that my audience is mostly male. <laughs> Typical. But this is a really funny page and hopefully you guys can enjoy it. It's more directed towards women, but you know, I feel like if you're a man, you can understand. 2018 everyone. Men can understand. Man can understand. Back to Beans with Tenor, part two. Today we're going on to a page called Cush and Kishes. Wow, I genuinely didn't mean to do that. Cush and Kisses. Now, as you can see, the profile picture is just, um, well, just uh, beautiful. <laughs> a lot of it is so, sort of bogan inappropriate humor, which is perfect for me. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that I am extremely bogan um, and I have no filter. I can't believe this is what Kylie Jenner sees during missionary. <laughs> when this meme started going around, I was like, oh my God. I mean, I wonder what they think of this whole situation. If I saw like my famous boyfriends, wow, that is not a flattering. Is this what it looked like when Stormy was conceived? Does it? Is it? <laughs> I'm sure not every person looks attractive during missionary, so I'm not gonna judge. I'm not gonna judge. Me pretending to know how to play fork knife to impress some guy. You heard it here first. <laughs> That's me. That's me. Fork knife. Bone apple teeth. I find it very rude and offensive when I buy something and the money comes out of my account. Like, how dare you? How dare you take the money that I paid for that something to get taken out of my account? <laughs> Okay, no, give it back. I changed my mind. I changed my mind. <laughs> literally me. Men, women doing literally anything. Is this to get my attention? <laughs> yes, you dirty Neanderthal. That's all I want in life. It's like, dude, no. So many guys that think that we wear makeup to impress them. I wear makeup because I like wearing it. I don't have anything to hide or cover. I just like putting makeup on my face. So get, get out. <sighs> if this isn't good for me, please send me a sign. When the sign arrives and you're like, I don't want it. I don't want any more. I don't want the sign. Get out of here. Look, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> okay, mom, midnight. I'll be back home. <laughs> Me getting home at 6 a.m. <laughs> With my glasses on gone. <laughs> Please don't look at me. I'm not in a good state. You just like sneak through and you're like, ugh, can't live like this anymore. I can't live like this anymore. On today's episode of Men Pay Zero Attention to Me, how you doing? I've been better. How about you? Happy to hear that. I'm good. What are you up to? <laughs> What? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Him, come over. Me, I can't, I'm busy. Him, I'll lead you on for six months. Me. <laughs> Shit, he said he'd lead me on for six months. I gotta fucking get there quick. Tempting, just my type. I'm on my way. <laughs> See, I love these memes. They're so relatable to uh, women. Women. When your birthday is near and your besties have photos that can ruin your entire life. Deactivate account. I have a privacy concern. My account was hacked. I spent too much time using Facebook. True. I don't feel safe on Facebook. Click the I don't feel safe on Facebook because I've got a lot of things out there that uh, the world doesn't need to see. All right. There's a lot of embarrassing videos of me. I'm probably throwing up in my hands and just, ugh. It doesn't need to see the light of day, okay? Besties, keep it to yourself. You know who you are, keep it to yourself. Me explaining to myself that I don't always need to get blind drunk when I go out with my friends. <laughs> I relate to this on a spiritual level. <laughs> it's like talking to a brick wall. I want to insert a picture of a brick wall here. This is literally me talking to me about to lay up on the drinking and doing dumb shit. Anyone else always bring about three times as many knickers as they need when they're going away somewhere? Like, oh, just in case I piss myself every single day of this trip. I'll go away for a week and take 50 pairs of underwear. I just like having options. I just like being able to, if I wanna wear 10 a day, I get to wear 10 a day. That's my choice. I like having a mass amount of underwear. I can guarantee there are so many women out there that are the same. They just like having clean undies. We're not grubs like men, okay? Tweets about how I wanna date a guy who is spontaneous. Guy being spontaneous. Come outside. Me. <laughs> if I get asked to hang out that day, I'm, I'm not prepared. You need to give me at least like 14 days notice. I need time to like prep myself, prepare myself mentally, you know, talk myself out of it, then talk myself back into it. You know, you know. 
One of my favorite games to play is, is my headache from dehydration, caffeine withdrawal, lack of proper nutrition, lack of proper nutrition, <laughs> lack of proper nutrition, my ponytail, stress, lack of sleep, not wearing my glasses or a brain tumor. Honestly, I always go for the water and then I drink like three liters of water and I'm like, the headache's still here, I'm dying, what's going on? Oh, just me thinking about how much more I could accomplish if I had more than one brain cell. <laughs> Anyone who knows me um, will know that this is legit me. I have one brain cell, just one. Oh, sometimes they say things, I'm like, Tenna, where's your brain at? The other day I thought pay-per-view, like a pay-per-view like fight was paper, like, like paper, just paper, not paper, paper. Tenna, come on, come on. You're better than that, mate. You're better than that. Me walking into my house with packages after telling my mum I was broke. <laughs> Taking the package in with me. I'll pretend he's just walking in and just acting like it's not even there. Mum's like, I thought you said you didn't have any money. And I'm like, yeah, I know, but after pay, you know, it's like 10 bucks a fortnight. I can, I can live like that. I can, I can, I can afford that. Sort of, kind of, a little bit, little, little, little baby bit. <laughs> the caption, I don't know what it is, mum. It must be a present, gotta go. My liver when it sees that I'm scheduled to visit three bars and drop by two parties tonight. It's just so sick of my shit. It really is. I'm so sorry, liver, that you have to go through that. I'm really, really sorry. Unimpressed and sick of its job. Had to throw in the towel. I told you these captions are hilarious. They just add to the memes in general. Like they, it's a beautiful meme and a beautiful caption. Put it together and it's kush and kisses. Kush and kisses. Kush and kisses. What am I doing? My reaction to everything because I've killed all my brain cells and it takes me a minute to process even the simplest of solutions. Legit me. I used to be smart. I really used to be smart. I kind of do maths and stuff, but now I'm just like, what is going on? What is going on? So easily distracted. I say a lot of dumb things. Paper, you. I am that penguin. Why does 2007 still feel like three years ago? Seriously. 2007 was 11 years ago. Oh, I'm getting so old. <laughs> Being a retirement home soon, the way I'm going. What you mean Chris Brown wall to wall didn't come out last year? What you mean I've been growing into a fully grown legal adult? have I been doing? Seriously, what have I been doing? So that's part two of memes with Tenor. You know, a lot of people probably won't like this, but you know what? I enjoy looking at memes and I find them funny. I find them funny. So you're gonna enjoy it whether you like it or not, all right, mate? I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up, you know the drill. But yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for enjoying memes with me. I love you all. Cheers for watching, my friends, my dudes. Thanks for watching, my dudes. Dudes.